Just into our newsroom, new overhead video shows the exact moment clashes erupted at the site of Atlanta's future public safety training facility. It started as a protest gathering and music festival on Sunday afternoon, but quickly turned violent. Those arrested will appear in court for the first time tomorrow. Our Don White has been tracking major developments in the case. So Don, what have you learned tonight? Well, Jennifer, we have learned today only two of the 23 people now charged with domestic terrorism are from Georgia. Also, we are getting an estimate on the amount of property damage. A sea of blue filled the area outside the future Atlanta Public Safety Training Center Sunday. And on Monday, Atlanta Police Chief Darren Shearbaum presented new information to City Council. What has just transpired is that individuals were seen changing out of the clothes that they were wearing at the concert and were now dressing themselves in all black. Shearbaum says those people then changed back into their original clothing in the woods. So you can start to see smoke uh, occurring. As fires are set, Molotov cocktails are thrown and fireworks are discharged. And you'll see a firework that was just lobbed at the uh, lieutenant that is discharging. The police chief revealed officers towed 35 vehicles for a crime scene processing, and the damage is estimated at $150,000. Dozens of people opposed to the site they call Cop City spoke out at the meeting. I live in East Atlanta. I don't want Cop City. I got five black children. I don't want Cop City. What we have here are politicians who ignore the interests of the people and in the end protect and serve the interests of the ultra-rich, the capitalists and the corporations. 23 people from 15 different states and two other countries are now charged with domestic terrorism. The Southern Poverty Law Center, a group that works for civil rights, confirms one of its employees was arrested. In a statement to 11 Alive, a spokesperson says an employee at the Southern Poverty Law Center was arrested while acting and identifying as a legal observer on behalf of the National Lawyers Guild. The employee is an experienced legal observer and their arrest is not evidence of any any crime, but of heavy-handed law enforcement intervention against protesters. The police chief also said at that meeting he believes in people's First Amendment rights, but he emphasized they don't have the right to attack law enforcement officers.